So I'm with Gordon Fitzpatrick of Cedar Creek Estate Winery, and we're in the vineyard talking Pinot. And to our left, we have some Pinot Noir vines. Gordon, can you speak to me about the relation between these three Pinot varietals? Pinot Noir is a quintessential food wine. And you know, there's only maybe a half a dozen places in the world that you can do Pinot, and the Okanagan is one. Um, we've got enough heat, but it's not too hot in the northern part of the Okanagan Valley. And then the cooler temperatures in the fall are ideal for preserving those uh, wonderful flavors. And then Pinot Gris, how is it related to Pinot Noir? You can take a look here at the bunches. Um, and uh, we're actually, we've got a glass full of our Pinot Gris. And you can see the nice pinkish uh, hue to it. And so some people wonder, well, why isn't Pinot Gris, why is it white? And uh, the reason is, is that when we process this, the juice doesn't come into contact uh, with the grape skins, uh, so it comes out white. In fact, if you process Pinot Noir the same way, uh, the juice would be uh, clear as well. It's just the contact with the grape skins that's what uh, gives uh, red wine its, uh, its color. So one thing we haven't talked about is the other sibling, Pinot Blanc. In my experience at the restaurant, Pinot Gris flies off the shelves, Pinot Noir is a fabulous food wine, but Pinot Blanc seems to be the ugly duckling. Why aren't people drinking more of it? I think it just gets overshadowed by the other two Pinots. Some people refer to Pinot Blanc as a poor man's uh, Chardonnay, but it's really well suited uh, to the Okanagan. Um, but uh, people have also used it uh, as a, a blender as well, so it has been a little bit of a workhorse, uh, but there are some great uh, Pinot Blancs coming out of the Okanagan. They just don't get the fanfare. Pinot Blanc could possibly gain its identity from the Okanagan Valley. I can't think of really too many other places in the world that it's prevalent. I'm going to try a game with you here. Quick, rapid-fire food and wine pairing okay. of the Pinot family. All right. Let's start with Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris, gosh, you know, fresh salmon with uh, a nectarine salsa, dynamite. <sighs> Amazing. You're prepared for this. Okay, Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc, how about crab cakes? <sighs> I like that one, too. And finally, Pinot Noir. <laughs> you name it. It's a quintessential food wine, but I think my favorite is uh, duck confit. And you know what else is really good with Pinot Gris? What? This view. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>